Hi, I'm Joan Cool, author of Dig Your Heels In. Have you ever held yourself back from going after something you really wanted? A promotion, a new opportunity, or recognition? Because of the feeling that you just don't deserve it. Or have you ever second-guessed yourself before you walked into a room for a big presentation or a meeting, feeling like you might just not have what it takes to be in that room? If so, you're not alone. 70% of us have suffered from what's called imposter syndrome, and it strikes at any moment in our careers. Imposter syndrome is more clinically defined as a psychological pattern in which an individual doubts their accomplishments and has a persistent internalized fear of being exposed as a fraud. Imposters suffer from chronic self-doubt that overrides any external proof of their competence. So they'll still feel inadequate despite having a long list of their achievements and success. It's a phenomena that touches everyone, even high achieving, highly successful people. And it is not equated with having low self-esteem or a lack of self-confidence. Some researchers have linked it with perfectionism, especially in women. This holds women back because they're less likely to put themselves forward for that next opportunity or that next big project. It's widely known that women tend to wait until they have 90% of the qualifications before they apply for a position or go after it or believe that they're worthy of it. Whereas in the same situation, men tend to raise their hand and go after something with only 50% of those qualifications. Other implications involve accepting behavior or treatment they don't deserve, oftentimes diminishing themselves, and could contribute to false perceptions about women in leadership. In our research, we found three underlying factors associated with imposter syndrome. The most common factor for women is to avoid self-promotion for fear of being called out so worried that someone's gonna believe it was a mistake to hire her. This is an obvious barrier to career growth. It can lead to decreased visibility, and women will tend to attribute their success to communal leadership, to the team's success, not specifically to their own contributions. It also can make women very overly concerned about perfectionism and an excessive focus on impression management. And at the same time, women will feel like they have to master every level before raising their hand or being ready for the next opportunity. Whereas men often feel more comfortable jumping into new positions regardless if they meet the requirements of that position. The second factor that women can struggle with in association with imposter syndrome is overextending themselves in an effort to be everything for everyone because of role ambiguity and the pressure to prove themselves. Overextending yourself builds unrealistic expectations for everyone around you. And unfortunately, when it comes to ambiguity, we can't erase it from business, but we can figure out how to manage through it by having a very clear methodology to help you be focused and be ready for change. What's left to tackle here are the double standards that women in the workplace always have to deal with. The heavy influence of biased gender stereotypes can push women to feel the need to change themselves or feel pressure to constantly please others. Certain situations can arise from here, and maybe you've experienced some of them yourself. For example, when a male colleague is rewarded for speaking the loudest, yet you're seen as being too pushy. Or a male colleague has been recognized and congratulated for a promotion, yet you're seen as being too hungry or ambitious. Or perhaps it's the opposite for you, and you find it hard to accept praise and congratulations. Either way, this is one of the most challenging things to overcome in the workplace, and some of it we can tackle through our own mindset, but in other cases we need to work to build allies to help transform the systems that are biased and build in some of these behaviors into our day-to-day -day experience. While overcoming imposter syndrome is difficult and it requires some mental deprogramming, there are some actionable solutions that you can take to combat its presence. You'll begin to be more aware of the triggers you're most sensitive to so that you can figure out how to avoid being perceived as something that you're not and be really confident about your capabilities and your potential.